the problem of gun violence in our country and realize that we can end gun violence in our country. We can end it. I am very excited to be able to welcome a um, stay-at-home mom of five who started a Facebook page that became a movement that brought all of us here together today. So please join me in welcoming the Moms Demand Action founder, Shannon Watts. I was angry and devastated. I knew I had to do something, so I started a Facebook page. That online conversation became a huge offline movement. Today, part of Every Town for Gun Safety, Moms Demand Action is the nation's largest gun violence prevention organization with a chapter in every single state and more than three and a half million members. <laughs> of more than 100 taking place this weekend across the country. Thousands of Americans are walking and wearing orange to honor the lives of the 88 Americans who are shot and killed in this country every single day. All of you are here today because you know we can do more to protect American lives. You're here because you know it's our moral obligation to stand up in the face of bloodshed and violence. You're here because you're angry that Congress is not keeping its commitment to protect our children, our families, and our communities. In honor of Sandy Hook, in honor of Clackamas, in honor of Umpqua Community College, in honor of all of the countless victims and survivors of gun violence, we must continue to use our voices and our votes to end gun violence. and I want you all to know that we are winning. Oregon is proof of the progress we are seeing on gun violence prevention. And that is why I am so honored to be joined today by Governor Kate Brown, a national leader on gun safety who earlier this year... to require criminal background checks on every gun sale. Governor Brown. Good afternoon. I am here to say thank you for coming out on such a cold, windy, and wet day to honor the victims and the survivors of the senseless gun tragedies that are sweeping our nation. I am here today to honor the victims of Sandy Hook, to honor the victims and survivors of Clackamas, and to honor the victims and the families of Yonkaw Community College. These incidents have changed our lives forever. As your governor, I was so pleased and proud of the Oregon legislature for moving forward on a comprehensive background checks. Let's give our Oregon legislators that are here a big round of applause. I was so pleased to sign the Comprehensive Background Checks Bill into law, and I was also pleased to give our judges and our courts more tools to keep guns out of the hands of domestic abusers. Unfortunately, there's much more work to be done, and I look forward to working with legislators like Jennifer Williamson and Ginny Burdick in 2016 to move forward, to move Oregon forward on more common sense gun legislation to prevent these tragedies. Are you with this? Thank you. We need your support and we need your help. I am so pleased to be here at the beginning of the Orange Walk, but walking is not all that we can do. We must use our voices and we must use our votes. We must elect elected officials that will move forward with us, that will introduce legislation, that will help Oregon become a safe and beloved community. Are you willing to hold your elected officials accountable? 
Are you willing to have your votes be heard? Are you willing to use your voices to stand up for common sense gun safety legislation? Well, you have my support. I will be a leader. I will work with your legislature and I will sign the bills that come no. to my desk. But we need your support. I look forward to working with you. 